How's it going, everybody? Um, welcome to the next video. Um, I talked about this last time when we were doing an overview on the car and putting the wheels on. Today, we are dealing with the GV new custom taillight panel. Um, right now, you can't see uh, that there's any GV panel on the car. That's because it's at paint right now. I sanded it down, I deleted the, the reverse light uh, because everything's gonna be housed in just the circle pockets and let me show you what those will be. These are completely custom designed. Uh, they're based off of another Miata, but I wanted them really aggressive, so I 3D modeled it myself. Uh, it was designed in Cinema 4D, then I sent it to my buddy and he got them 3D printed. Uh, you're just printing standard, like, uh, not ABS, but it's uh, PETG, I think. And yeah, I just printed it in that material, it's plastic. Um, I painted them a stainless steel, so they don't like have any issue with sun or heat uh, during the summer, but yeah, uh, the outside ring will be parking light and brake light. The inside will be reverse light and turn signal. Those are switchbacks in the center. So I have to cut off the stock clip from the original tail lights, and I'm using them with these so I can just plug and play. I got some load uh, load resistors for the switchbacks so they don't hyper flash. I got 500 ohms resistors and what is it? IN004005 uh, diodes. That's to make the, um, the, the brake lights work properly when it has a dual function, so it has parking and brake. I have to wire that myself, so enough of me talking. Let's just get right into this. So I just took some time. I wanted to at least do the first one, make sure it's working properly. And it does. Um, let me show you. Uh, so far, it's only the outsides that are working, like the brake lights. But turn the lights on. That is the parking light. It's pretty dim for the parking light. Like that's that's my side marker light. It is much brighter than my my uh, my parking light for my reverse. But it doesn't need to be very bright. It just needs to be on. But when we press the brake, it goes full brightness, which is freaking awesome. So happy it's working. Now I can worry about getting the reverse and turn signal working. Once that's done, I can just fly through the next one. So yeah, so far this is awesome. Okay, I'm super happy. It works. Uh, let me show you in action. I'm just gonna hold the camera, make it easier. So, that is on. Uh, parking lights, very, very dim. That's brake light. And then you have turn signal. And then you have in reverse. So it's full switch back in the center and then dual intensity on the outside. So, super happy. And that's how they look. So yeah, let's get the other one finished. So everything is working. I am very happy. They're all just they're just laying here right now. They're gonna be right here in little pockets uh, for the GV panel. But yeah, these are red and these are switchback in the center. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna set the camera down and hopefully I can get a good uh, video of this for you guys. Absolutely dope. I am so happy with how they turned out. Um, yeah, they these are pretty dim the, for the parking light, but I wanted them kind of dim. They're not supposed to be really bright in the first place. These are 1180 lumens, uh, both of these rings apparently. That's what they said when I bought them. But yeah, they're, they're stupid bright. I don't know if they're as bright as my side marker lights. Uh, if you want to check those out actually, those lights are from Flying Miata. They, are, they can get them in either white or tinted. Uh, like tinted black and they're just like a little line like a little like like just like a line led pretty much so everything on this car is led so far other than these uh i want to get these yellow ones sorted out uh just get some yellow led bulbs in there just white ones uh i hope you guys like this video uh it's my first time kind of doing a kind of build along while you guys watch but it's my first time kind of doing 
uh, a video like that, but this was kind of complicated. I didn't. I only filmed a time lapse on one of the sets because I want to make sure I get the first one working first. Then I know the other one it wouldn't take too long to do. But I got them working. They're awesome. Pretty much, there's just final steps on this car. Um, but other than that, you know, the car is looking really, really good. I'm really, really happy. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna walk around while the lights are on. You guys can see. There's the lights I was talking about. Right, right there. They're kind of dark, but little white LEDs. I got switchbacks in the front as well. But uh, thanks for thanks guys for watching. Uh, next video, I'm not sure what the next video will be. But yeah, next video, I'm not sure what it will be. But you know, tune in for it. I'm thinking the next video will be this thing on the road. As far as I know, that's the only thing that's left is to insure it again, take it off storage insurance, and drive it for the first time. But thank you guys for watching these videos. This is the fourth one out of like the very small series that I've done. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, peace.